trying to find some room. That was not to be, so she throws it behind the cage. And a turning shot, and Mars strikes first. It's Maya Cote who finds the back of the net, and Mars, just over a minute in, has the first goal. It's 1-0. Well, it's no shock that it's Cote did not receive a good pass, so need to be a little bit quicker getting back defensively, the Colts do. Mars has put up 299 goals this season after their lid lifter here today is that one point blank by Merritt but it stays out and now Char Valley comes up at the ground ball and Roach got a piece of it to keep it a one nothing Mars lead. Yeah nice job by Roach read that well the whole way through and she has that save as she denies Megan Witte. Witte effort able to receive it for Kazin from Kaczynski and that springs the attack and a save right on the doorstep. Colts trying to get it back. They've had a few opportunities as they maintain possession with might of it also wear down Mars a little bit, force them to play an extended defensive shift. Here's an opportunity for Warzinski on a near breakaway. Has it jarred free and just misses it. Could not get a pure shot off, but still sent it towards the cage. And fortunately for Mars, it stayed out of this opening quarter. And the feet on the back doorstep and it rung off of the post as Anna McGrath got that shot off. Mars retains. And this one sailed ahead. And waiting for it to come down, Warzinski. Now she's got a teammate with her. Dish is over. Good fake, the shot and the goal as Shar Valley pulls even. Juliana Betts gets the goal. 201 in her career, and she has her team even. What execution. It all started with Kaczynski's outlet. The fighting planets, I would suspect, Jack, to hold for a final shot of the quarter. Yeah, and kind of see them bunching up a little bit, trying to get a, a shot off. Well, they do get a shot off, and it goes for Merritt. McKenna Merritt pulled the trigger with 14 seconds left, and a response comes just about 30 seconds after Sharp Valley goes. Merritt passes off and a goal. What a feed and on the finish it's Cote. She opened the scoring and her second goal of the contest makes it three to one. Love the action off the free position. Merritt already got a couple. Now she feeds it to Merritt. Merritt. And she finds a way to sneak it in. Didn't put a lot behind it, but perfectly placed it. And Merritt has her second. And the Fighting Planets have gone up four to one. Britt, no rush, no urgency needed right now for Mars, especially staked to a three goal lead. Now they get a wraparound opportunity and a goal. The defensive breakdown freed up Tess McGrath. She makes it five to one. Yeah, it looked like the Colts just Tess simply McGrath. lost Tess McGrath in the middle. Colts able to keep possession with Tally Milliken. A good burst of speed and a bouncing shot goes for Witte. Uh, she called her own number, Jack, and Witte makes it 5-2. to two. Just what the Colts needed, a little bit of lift there offensively, and again the... Jack Ramars. Seemingly contentious to run about at least a because another finish by Tess McGrath. Her second goal of the quarter makes it six to two. And they're just lulling Chartier's Valley to sleep, really. I mean, it's a lot of kind of deep. This time they're seemingly getting into their offense much quicker. Yeah, they're seeing some holes in this defense for Char Valley. And you got to wonder if they're wearing down. Uh, the spin cycle, but a good save made after Cote was able to get that one on goal. And that's trailing, in this case, the Colts, to try to get those extra possessions to get back even. And conversely, for the team in the front, you can really use the clock as an ally if you continue to have possession. As the Colts looking to get a goal here, and they will. A turning shot bounces home as LaGamba gets the finish. And what a start to the third quarter for Char Valley. It's exactly what they needed. Something early in the quarter, something that, again, a quick strike. It sticks with it and extends the possession. That pass, a little off the mark, but Warzinski able to clean it up and keep Char Valley with possession. 
looking for a passing outlet. A low shot and that, not a lot of mustard behind it by Lagamba. She went off. Fighting Planets looking to go back to back between the boys team last night and the girls team today. And also the girls team looking to go back to back in terms of two consecutive WPIAL titles. And that will help the cause as Tess McGrath again, she's got a Hattie. And that's not what the Colts needed. At this point, cannot go into a gold trading battle with Mars because already down by four now, you don't have a This is their chance to cut into this lead and to really get back in it. But then McGrath with the quick response and now the Fighting Planets have possession once again. Turning shot and a save as Colson denied by Kaczynski. Kind of a walk in the park for her. Cote feeds it, quick ball movement, and it yields a goal as Merritt right on the doorstep puts it in, tic-tac-toe. Merritt makes it 8-3. to three. Now you're starting to see some of that exhaustive looks on Char Valley right now. you got to think that maybe some of it. Shenandoah. Our team trying to be a quick strike attack right now. And they score again as McKenna Merritt fires that one. And now a six-goal lead for Mars. Her fourth of the game, number 12, McKenna and For Mars, they're just unrelenting at this point and not do very well. Yeah, yeah that, that I would not be very good at. Well, doing pretty well so far in this one. The Fighting Planets in particular Merritt, but that time she's denied. And now the outlet pass is tipped. And there's an empty net for the Fighting Planets. And firing at home is Cote on the easiest goal that she will have all day. And that is now a 10-3 lead. You can just feel the energy from Char Valley being deflated each and every single. And that's denied as Warzynski could not sneak. But four, I would think prototypical size for a keeper. You'd probably want someone a little bit taller just to take up more room and take oh, down yeah. some of the shooting angles as she's going to be tested here, it appears. And Roach could not stop that one as firing it past her as Betts to make it 10 to 4. A steal and score for her second goal of the game. Big strike there by Number Betts. Six, but again, Yellow. such a long Seven. period of a scoring drought. At one time also hosted some WPL football championships. And truthfully, I think that it would be a great host in the future. Is That's a great shot. And it's a goal for Haley Long as Mars continues to add on. It is now 11 to 4. And the freshman getting active. One of the many freshmen that just get free. Cote, she can free herself up and she finishes. Putting the defenders in a spin cycle. Cote has another. And it is 12 to 4. And all Char Valley can do really is starting to run out of time. And they get a goal here to make it 12 to 5. Yeah, it's just a little too, too little too late at this point. Whitty. Well, Whitty's not going to stop trying. And they got to play spike ball, and they golfed and hung out by the pool. And thankfully we have, uh, as there's another goal for Mars, and Haley Long Mars rips the goal. twine to make it 13-5. to First second of the game, number three, Haley Long. Mars really just showing their dominance. Sideline, and for Mars, just some anticipation building for the Fighting Planets as they count down these final 150 seconds or so. Cancer, as that shot ripped home by Wardzinski, and she makes it 13 to six. But so that was a, a very important cause, and couple Melissa Moran tuning in from New York, probably a little downtrodden as well. Maybe they'll be having some uh, Jenny Cream Ale after this one. As that bouncing shot goes home, and Mars tacks on another. Kennedy Colson gets the goal to make it 14 to six. Yeah, at that point just pouring salt the wound. And, and a whistle blows, and the clock's gonna continue to run. Final seconds tick down, and Mars goes back to back. 
as the Fighting Planets are the 2024 Class 2A Girls Lacrosse Champions, a 14-6 victory over Char Valley. A dominating performance by the Mars Fighting Planets going back to back, not to mention a third title since 2021. But like mentioned, Char Valley, I don't think this is the last that we'll see of this group. A plethora of really talented juniors, 11 of them to be exact, coming back next year. So gotta think the Colts, they could become the team that everybody's gonna try and beat.